Um, last week, the Foreign Affairs Committee were in New York for discussions with the Secretary General and uh, with members of the Security Council and other United Nations member states. It's quite clear that far from ignoring the United Nations, our Ambassador Karen Pearce and her colleagues are making prodigious efforts to get progress on Syria. But the Secretary of State referred to the 12 Russian vetoes. Given that there will continue to be Russian vetoes, when Assad carries out mass murder of civilians in Idlib, what are we going to do? Are we going to walk by on the other side, or will we have another effort with our coalition partners, France and the United States and others, to stop these atrocities? Well, the Honourable Gentleman will know that one of the reasons why we took action against the use of chemical weapons, as we did a few weeks ago, was as well as to degrade, was to deter that kind of action in the future. And I would say uh, to the Honourable Gentleman that his support and strong stance on humanitarian issues have strengthened that message. Uh, the fact that we've had members who sit on all sides of this House uh, <coughs> condemn those attacks, condemn not just the chemical weapons attacks, but the use of conventional weapons against civilians, uh, and express our resolve uh, that those things should not happen. He will have helped that message. He will understand why I can't stand at this dispatch box today and talk about particular future action that we or our allies might take. Uh, but Assad and his backers should be under no illusions that we will not tolerate those breaches of international norms.